the point is I love this studio. I love it so much that it was hard during the writer's strike to be away from it. And one day, just a couple of days ago, actually, before we came back on the air, I took a, a camera and I came into this studio just to see what was going on when it was shut down. And, well, here's what I found. Well, of course, Late Night with Conan O'Brien has uh, been off the air uh, for two months because of the writer's strike. Uh, it's been a tough time for a lot of people, and uh, occasionally, when I get nostalgic, I just come down here to the studio. Believe it or not, this is our set. It's completely shut down, uh, dark, and of course, NBC, to make an extra buck, uh, is renting out this as storage space. Uh, I think these are cured meats and salmon. The most depressing thing, of course, is uh, there are no audiences. I really miss the crowds. And so uh, I was thinking about it earlier today. Someone mentioned that the NBC pages have been uh, bringing tour groups through. And I thought maybe I'd hide out there behind the double doors. And then when a tour group comes in, maybe I'd just rush out, surprise them, spread the Conan love, which sounds dirty. A page is giving a tour right now. Hi, everybody. Hello, how are you? How are you? you? What's your name? Max. Max, good to see you. Hi. Hi, I'm Julie. Hi, Julie. Are you with Max? Yes. Oh, sister. Oh, sister. Oh, good then. I can hit on you. Allie. Hi. It's Allie, everybody. Hi. How are you? Yes. Can we hear? Let's hear some of the facts that you know about my show, and I'll tell you if you're right okay. or wrong. Um, your biography or the studio itself? Uh, what's your about Conan? Conan. <laughs> Well, you graduated in 1985 from Harvard with a dual degree in history and literature, magna cum laude. No, it was uh, actually not, yeah. it's not the famous Harvard College. No, no. The Harvard School of Driving. Oh, right. uh, I see, I, I see. I was well, asked to leave. Uh, you made your parents proud after and moved out to L.A. to become Parents a proud? Uh, that would be untrue. No? <laughs> Anyone who's seen my show knows my parents could not possibly be proud. Um, but keep trying. You were discovered by Lauren Michaels, the executive producer of SNL, while you were working He for saw me. I was modeling a bathing suit. I was working at The Simpsons, actually, oh. at the time. Okay. But I would do improv at Didn't the Grand Theater. Did you do SNL theater. before The Simpsons? Yes. See, this is a terrible biography. It's all out of order. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So and then the I was end? born. Yeah. <laughs> the end. It sort of works backwards. Okay. Well, you uh, beat out Greg Kinnear and Adam Sandler for host here? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Sandler, wow, he'll be thrilled to hear that. Okay. Yeah, poor Adam that's Sandler. That's he desperately wanted the 1230 show, but had to settle for making hundreds of billions of dollars as a movie star. Now, are you aware that there's a writer's strike right now and these shows have been off the air? Yes. Who had no idea I was off the air? You, don't be afraid to raise your hand. You, you, you had no idea. You had no idea. This is my life's work. This is what I do. And you, I've been gone for two months and you have no idea. What is your name? Matthew. Okay, not a regular viewer then, I'm guessing, Matthew. You're not up late, is that true? YouTube. YouTube. You watch YouTube. You're part of the problem, not part of the solution. You're why they cut my salary in half every year. You're on YouTube watching primarily pornography or legitimate stuff? What are you watching on YouTube? You. you me? Oh, you watch me on YouTube. You're watching me for free on YouTube. You bastard. Have uh, you enjoyed this so far? I love it. Do you think you might now check out my show a little more frequently? Definitely. Do you think you might try watching it on broadcast television instead of stealing it for free on YouTube? Yes, sir. I think you owe me about $60. Yes, give me sir. some money right now. Give it to me. Just give me, give me that camera. Is that a camera? Sorry I grabbed your crotch. That's something I've been asked to stop doing. Before this next group comes in, I'm going to hide behind these boxes, and we're just going to listen to what the page is saying. OK, right now, a tour group is coming into the studio. So welcome to Studio 6A, home of Late Night with Conan O'Brien. What do you guys notice when you come into the studio? It's small. Why is he putting down my studio? So if you guys are familiar with the show, you'll know that Conan will walk out through that proscenium arch right there. Then he'll banter back and forth with Max Weinberg of the Max Weinberg 7. Never banter with Max. Uh, actually, every member of the Max Weinberg 7 has played with Bruce at one time. They're a really talented group. Oh yeah, they're really talented. To say I'm talented, he says the band is talented. While they're bantering, we'll keep one camera on Conan and then one camera on Max. Leads people to believe the studio is a lot bigger than it actually is. Why does he keep hopping on how small the studio is? And we do film at 5.30, so it's technically not even dark most days when we film. So everything in the show is a lie, is what he said. <laughs> it's not as big, it's not as filmed when you think it's filmed. The window's fake, Conan's fake. Um, so these monitors people have questions about all the time, those are for pre-taped segments, uh, film clips. This is the worst speech I've ever heard in my life. What's he talking about? I'm 
an exciting person. This is how many seats are in the theater, how many lights, what the carpet's made of. I'm a genius. He should be talking about me. And hopefully whoever takes over the late show will be doing it. Late show. It's called Late Night. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, listen. I've listened to this since the beginning. <laughs> this is absolute crap what this guy is telling you. He hasn't told you one real fact so far. First of all, they're not 189 seats. It's 191. 191, I'm sorry. 191, okay? It's not late show with Conan O'Brien. It's late night with Conan O'Brien. No, you said late show. Didn't he say late show? Yes, he did. But he's doing a good job. Lindsay, give him a hand. He's a good guy. Hi, I'm Conan O'Brien. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys, you want to have a quick little show? Would you like a quick little show right now? Well, give me a theme song. Do you know the theme song? It's late night with good donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest plays Brick Butler on the CW hit Firefly Alley. Please welcome Matthew Newell. Let's get him out here. <laughs> good to see you. Have a seat right there. Matthew, uh, tell me something. Uh, the new show, are you surprised by success? I am because, you know, really I'm not a very good actor at all. Mm -hmm. And I, a butler... I'm not sure. No, your character is that. Brick Butler. You're not a butler. Oh, what do I do? Yeah, I don't know. You've been on the show for four... <laughs> the show is a smash hit. It's been on the air for four years, and you have no concept what the show's about. I don't know. I just say what they tell me to say. Matthew Newell, everybody. Give him a hand. Let's hear that band kick in. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. <laughs> Terrific show tonight. Megan Mullally's here. Fonsworth Bentley's here. Musical guest Kid Rock is here. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.